Oh, my cap fell off. Do you have a moment to stop and talk about the end of murdering babies? Uh, maybe next time. Greetings. It's a street kind of day, don't you think? So, I decided to take this and, uh... Oh, can you see yourself? And that. I only have two cameras, so give me a break. But I threw the 50 mil, the Nikon 50 mil on the a7 III because it has worse autofocus anyway. Might as well put the manual focus lens on the worst autofocusing camera. And then I put the 35 mil, of course, on its home, the a7 IV. And I brought both cameras out. Instead of bringing two lenses in one body and having to deal with lens changes, I would just swap cameras. And you know, it was pretty good, but uh, I didn't use the 50 mil as much as I wanted to. I think when I have the option of autofocus on the 35 mil, I'm most often gonna reach for that, but I got a few photos with the 50 mil and uh, I think I'm definitely gonna have to do another video where I force myself to use just the 50 mil because it is a lot of fun. It's a lot harder, but I do like the focal length and I kind of like the manual focus challenge of it. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Don't forget to keep an eye open for the pug hidden somewhere in this video, not this one or that one. It'll be hidden. Enjoy. All right, you little boner heads. Here we are in Denver and just look at these two sexy, beautiful cameras. Unfortunately, as I said, I didn't really use the 50 mil as much as I wanted to. Oh, my cap fell off. Oh, shit. And the cap fell off, oh shit. And I really wanted to get out there this week, but since the entire nation seems to be under a negative 40 wind chill warning, I think I'm just gonna have to wait until maybe next week until it warms up a little bit. But I did get some shots with the 50 mil, and I think that some of them were pretty cool, even though they're, you know, manual focus, so I don't know how sharp they could have been. But I do think the 35 mil shots were pretty good, especially for being so out of practice. Anyway, here we start again in Union Station. And today I'm actually on my way to meet up with Ty and Matthew Stehevevent, who I did a portrait of a photographer video with a couple of years ago. I'll link that in the description if you want to check it out. He's an incredible black and white photographer. And of course you all know Ty, another excellent photographer that I've been hanging out with for quite some time. I always like, I always listen for people coming up behind because I don't want to like snatch my camera or something, you know? How's uh, being back in Denver? I'm super sick. DC looks cool though, man. A lot of those photos are really sick. It was cool for a while, you know? Yeah. I feel like any city's going to get old after a while, but... It was different. Yeah. The buildings aren't as tall. You don't get any reflective light out there. Is it kind of more spread out, I guess? Yeah, it's super spread out. Because they got the monuments. I think they want the monuments right. to shine, you know? That makes sense. I find that I really like shooting in the winter a lot more. I don't know if it's the sun position in the sky or if it's just the fact that it's a little bit cooler out and I can focus on things other than how goddamn sweaty my balls are. But the problem is that there's just fewer people around. So I end up taking a lot of shots like this of just interesting light with architecture or benches or whatever. And I actually really kind of like these. DC was fun, but it's kind of like, I've, I've been hitting that, like, why am I doing it kind of thing. Right. A lot of the, like, like, when I have a good day shooting the street, I'm, like, high, you know? Like, yeah. it's really nice. But then there's days where it's just, like, I feel like I'm in people's way, and, like, that's kind of why I started doing more landscapes, too, because it's, like, it's just me. You know, and I can just take my time and I don't have to like, what was that? What was that? You know what I mean? Like, it's just part of, part of the time I love that. Just like the chaotic nature of it and stuff. But other times I'm just like not in the mood for it, I guess. I don't know. I decided here for the first time to pull out the 50 mil because we're up high and I wanted to zoom in just the littlest bit on some of these streets and all the interesting reflected light bouncing through the city. Lovely. 
Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that 50 is nice, but it's manual focus, which my brain doesn't work that way. <laughs> Especially because, like, I honestly find it easier with, like, uh, like an old SLR, how you line up a little thing, you know, in the viewfinder. Yeah. I kind of think that's easier than peaking because peaking, like, ruins your composition and shit. Like, you don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, they're just, like, green everywhere. It looks like shit. I don't think I've ever seen a Veloster from above. Yeah, it looks flatter. Sat up here for quite some time just waiting for one single solitary person to walk across this crosswalk with no cars or anything. It never really happened, but we got some cool shots of some interesting placement of cars and people. This was about as interesting a shot as I could possibly get. This girl flipped her hair out of her face. Unfortunately, the placement was a little bit off, but I still think it was kind of a cool little moment. Are you good? You know Matthew? Is that cheating? Especially with the fucking AI upscaling now, it's crazy. Uh, maybe next time, buddy. Thank you. I thought he was gonna say something about the Bible, and that was an easy no. But that one is just like, oh, I mean, busy. Do you have a moment to stop and talk about the end of murdering babies? Uh, maybe next time. Sorry, I gotta go take some photos. <laughs> okay, they are being slaughtered by the millions in Cambodia. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll figure it out no, next time. Not like, long distance? <laughs> is this something we could do on Zoom or? <laughs> it's when you gotta like flip your eye on and give them a sales pitch about doing a And then they're like, oh. I got a helicopter waiting. <laughs> Let's go right now. I've tried to shoot down this sort of inside slash outside alleyway many times and I've never seen the light pool in the center like this before. So we stopped here trying to get some people walking through. I got a couple shots and then everybody just kind of stopped walking through. So I ended up getting a few of Matthew dicking around over in the light. And then before you know it, the light was gone and we had to move on. Last couple times I've been going out to shoot street, I've taken my Enchroma glasses because it does make some of these oranges and stuff pop a little bit better. And I don't think these photos are any good, but it is kind of cool seeing orange and red as maybe other people see it and being a little bit more drawn to it than usual. to get these two arrows pointing at somebody walking past and I guess it kind of works maybe the left arrow isn't as uh, standout-ish as the other one because it's not black on white and this guy was a bit of a boring guy but I don't know I thought it was an interesting exercise in creativity I like your teddy bear Look <laughs> at your toy. You got two of them. You got one in the middle of the I think this caught both my and Ty's eyes. Was this nice 
trapezoid of light, I guess, with a red fire extinguisher just sitting right there in the center. I was hoping to get maybe a reflection or a shadow on the wall or something. It never quite happened before the light faded, but I still think these shots are pretty cool even with nobody in them. Trying to be overly creative again and get somebody mysterious walking in behind the hydrant behind these fences and I mean, yeah, that is what happened, but I don't know how compelling the photo is. simple, but I really love shots like this of just a long shadow, and I did a lot of work in post to get these whites to really gleam off the street. Watching. If you'd like to see another time I made an ass out of myself in the street, click right here. <sighs> Malcolm, I I don't know what to do, dude. I mean, I forget every single time. And uh, I don't really know how to solve this issue, so I guess we're gonna give up. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. <laughs>